So remote voice tracking. And so what we need to do first of all is the remote edit server. It enables you to set up four presenters to voice into your log for, uh, remotely from wherever they are in the world. And you have a couple of different decisions to make. You can either go the VPN way or the direct IP access way. And uh, there are discussions about how to do this and the differences in the remote voice tracking manual, which you can download from the P squared website. We recommend that you do it is using a VPN, a virtual private network. Uh, it's the technology that lets a computer using a public internet connection join a private network by way of a secure tunnel between that machine and the network. Most common case is a business allowing employees to connect to its work network from home or from when they're out and about. So that is the way that we suggest that you connect to your system via VPN and then that way you appear just like a machine on the network either that way or you can do it via direct IP and that is knowing the IP address and the port number and for that you're also going to need to set up some details in your router software to do with port forwarding port forwarding onto the machine that has the remote edit server on it so uh, once you've got that figured out then you can install remote edit server and uh, so here it is double click on the remote edit server to bring up the options and uh, this way it's just loaded up profile one and uh, you've got the main interface here you can reset the connection so if you have people connected you can reset the connection ask them to re-log back in tools precede audio cache and clear audio cache uh, basically every time that a one of the presenters asks for a file it produces a a cut down drastically reduced file size audio and uh, sends that across the public internet and uh, enables the presenter back at their studio to hear the song that they're coming out of and the song or piece of audio that they're going into and uh, every time that that audio is asked for it uh, produces a smaller version of the audio and it, that's sent across. And uh, so over time, the remote edit server will build up a larger and larger audio cache of uh, all of the items. And there you can precede it so you can get it to do it all for all of the audio or you can clear whatever cache it's already got. We'll take a look at that in a second, a little bit further. The settings menu, the normal file, Myriad file locations, station database settings, the directory settings, Myriad settings, and then in program settings, it uh, enables you to take a look at the program settings of the remote edit server itself. So these are the two port numbers that you need to make sure are opened and are pointed to the IP address of the machine running the remote edit server. Close connections when idle for more than five minutes. And then here, keep a local cache of audio files. So this is that audio cache folder that I told you about. Uh, you also have the ability here to allow the client to clear the server cache. And uh, that enables someone using remote uh, remote voice tracking to clear off what you do have on the server. I'll tell you what, if we just copy that, we'll copy that and we'll go and have a look at that folder. And uh, we'll bring that up here and we'll control V and we can see the cache here. And uh, if we just do type, we can see that uh, it's done them as Windows Media Audio Files. And so you can see here, it, this is Myriad cart number five. That's the intro and extra. So these are ones that we've tried already. So uh, that's what it means when it does the cache. So these files are pretty small. If we go to look at the size here and we bring that, we bring that in, these files will be pretty uh, small there, uh, 54K, 33K. And uh, so we'll just minimize that back down there. The audio, choose the audio format that remote users will hear when previewing the SEGS. So here, this Windows Media Audio, FM Quality Mono, and choose the audio format that links recorded by remote users will be uploaded at. So get, they get uh, squashed down and uploaded as uh, 128 kilobits stereo file. So you can uh, trim that down, change that, even increase it. Then we've got the options here, allow users with blank passwords to log in and you can store log files. And then you've got an option here to minimize this down to this system tray. So they are the main settings and then the help update information and also a link to the website. Some other things that you need to do uh, when configuring the remote edit server is to ensure that the users that you are wanting to log on have the ability to log on remotely. And to do that, if you go into uh, Myriad Playout, 
can do it in there. You can also do it in the directory as well. You need to make sure there's a few things ticked. So if we load up there, if we go into settings, Myriad settings and Myriad settings, there is an option down here, allow Myriad to be controlled, monitored remotely using TCP IP connections. So you need to make sure that that is ticked and also is part of the users. You need to make sure if we go into Myriad Manager, we can load up Myriad Manager and have a look at our P squared user, which is the user that we're logging in here. So let's load up Myriad Manager and our users and our general contacts. There's P squared down at the bottom here. What we just need to do is we need to make sure in the directory that they've got rights to do it. So they are a member of the all users security group. So if we click into security group, all users, and then down here in Myriad, you have to scroll down to the bottom here and here can remotely edit the scheduled log that needs to be make sure that that is ticked in there else they're not going to be able to connect to the remote edit server from their remote voice tracking client. So you do need to make sure that that is ticked. Once those are ticked and, and made sure that, uh, that your users are a member of the security groups where you have got it ticked, then everything will work just fine.